out of this. Greetings, I am Nate. And greetings, I am Tyrant. And today we are talking about really big swords, but specifically East versus West. Yes. The no duchy. Yep. I'm going to ask Tyrant for the exact pronunciation of that. Those are the great swords, the war swords of history. Well, we've got a couple here. Let's start before we get to the bigger ones. Let's just talk a little bit about so, like kind of the, the one one step down. You know. So we have a touchy here, which is actually like a war sword, right? That mm -hmm. was used in battle. And we have something like an English two-hander. Those are two respectable swords. They have quite a bit of length to them, but they're not. You know, then when we step up a little bit, we get to something like the Nodachi or a Claymore. But see, the funny thing is, though, if we actually measure these in length, because we did this in another video, mm. if we measure this in length, this and this are basically identical. Basically. Very, very similar, yes. So the thing is, though, when we start talking about this, a caveat to bear in mind is that a lot of these swords have blurry edges to their classification. So we could say great sword, we could yeah. say war sword, and it's still referring to a, yes. a traditional large Scottish claim or two-handed claim or an English great sword kind of same same when it comes to classification though in certain categories it's not but so, yes yeah, so today we're going to kind of uh pit these two against each other the nandachi versus the claymore uh they both have sharp edges mm -hmm. they are both we've used uh, uh, have we used them now that i'm thinking about it yes we have i think we've, we've used, used this, this once and we have definitely used that yes. because that is a beast but you will see yes. you will see now hopefully it still lives the up last to time we looked at this sword we did a review of it and we weren't Sold. We weren't sold on it. That is true. Uh, I'm hoping when we take a uh, like a relook at it today, hopefully we can mm. find some more positive yeah. things about it because yeah. it, is a, it is a nice looking sword. It and is. I think we're a bit too harsh. Possibly. Now, Maybe. when we said we weren't sold on it, we'll show you what we mean as we come to some of the cutting tests yes. that we're going to do. But it's nothing to do with the manufacturer of the sword. It's to do with the design. It's yes. all to do with how the sword is built. And in the opposite way, funnily enough, we had this blast through a lot of different targets but that could also be the manufacturer because these guys honshu have seemed to just make really good big tough swords they do now that you've spoken about it let's talk a little bit about the dynamics because that's where i feel like i had i personally had my biggest issue with something like the nodachi right uh, i'm gonna come around here you can keep talking okay in that case let me introduce to you Tyrus. And he's done talking <laughs> all right so with something like this sword Going from a long sword or even uh, a bastard or any sort of European style sword. Slightly smaller sword is what he's saying. Double edged sword. The dynamics, they're kind of the same. You can pick this up this and wield it for the most part pretty effectively, right? When it comes to something like this, you would think, same, same, right? You, you use would a katana, you, you use a tachi, then you use something like this, same, same. That's not really the case. No. Because of this ugh, very aggressive curve that we have, but when we talk about something like this sword, because it has this larger curve and it's it, it, it's not like that much longer than this, no. but it's enough to change up the dynamics that the weight that starts to be at play when you exactly. actually swing this thing around, exactly. it changes up how you use it. Because the weight with this, what you have to worry about is the weight on a linear, on a linear element, which is, you know, the weight instead of being maybe here, it's now probably maybe about, maybe about here. Yeah. That's fine, but with this one, as you can see with Tyrant pointed out, the weight is no longer here, it's up here in the air. Well, it's very hard to control. Because something like a katana, a lot of people think of them as very top heavy, right? They're good choppers for the most part. It's not because they're top heavy, but yes. But that is how people view them. Imagine that with this, but to the extreme, yeah. to the point that this up here, the weight is just... It, I was going to say, and the longer the sword too, the more you have to worry about flex. Now these are very stiff mm. pieces of steel, but as you chop through the air, they flex a bit. Yeah. So if that's already got an aggressive curve to it, it's multiplying it on lots of different axes all at the same time. Well, I'm happy that you brought up something like a heat treatment, right? Because the, something like this is more of a spring steel. I think it's on the blade there, if we can see. They're usually made of a, well, 99% of the time they're made of a spring steel, so I'd say that. This 1065 high carbon steel. Now, this one here, I don't, like, this one isn't traditionally made. I don't no. think it's a differentially no, hardened so, blade. I exactly. think this one is a spring steel blade as well. So, they're very similar steels, yeah. but traditionally that would be differentially hardened, which means the back is soft yeah. and the front edge is very hard. Yeah. Now, this one doesn't really have much play to it, if I'm being completely honest. This one here has a lot more, uh, yeah. Wriggle to it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. wiggle. <laughs> but if to show, for I example, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> to show, for example, if I hold this and I just give the pommel a smack, yeah. you can see. If Tyrus does the same thing, you can see it's a pretty stiff blade. It's very stiff. Which katanas, for the most part, 
are supposed to be like that, and even something like a Nodachi, which is basically a katana, just a really long one. Uh, but I think that covers most of the dynamics at play here. I think that covers things like the heat treatment. They're different. But now I want to get to the cutting. Yeah, I was going to say, how about, how about we give you guys what you came here for, yeah, which is seeing big swords cut things. Oh, it's so heavy. I this know, thing is right? so heavy. <laughs> Stay tuned. Come on. Let's get to some cut tests. Nate can start off with the, the claymore, and I will then use the claymore after you. You can start with water bottles. Thank you for that very descriptive. <laughs> give me swing in space. You know how it works. <laughs> give me swing in space. Oh, all right, let's see if I can cleave more, clay less. Oh, that's really nice. It's nice, I, isn't I it? Just made a, I made a weird sound. Yeah, we'll add it to the soundboard, don't worry. Thanks. I'm gonna try just a very gentle one-handed backswing. This may fail, but we'll see. Thank you for stepping back, Sir Nathan. I'm gonna go back to two hands now. Now, before Tyrant cuts, I want to note that I just did the most hardest water bottle cut ever in existence at Shadowversity. I sliced mm. through the hardest part mm. and, and with great skill, popped the cap off right. at the same time. Okay. Mm. He also hit this and then he only sliced one of them good. Jump! Your turn! Very nice. God. I'm in a splash zone. Reverse edge cut, very nice. All right then, show off Mr. Reverse back edge cut. Do it with that. Okay, I can do he that. It's, you get it. Katanas are not meant to do that, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> I meant with the back edge, I didn't expect him to, nice cut. I didn't expect him to, you know, do use it. science. No, you used, that's how you do it. Yeah, but the back is blunt and it's oh, flat. Oh, you want me to use it, the, oh. Yeah, it was oh. a joke. You got it. He was setting an impossible challenge that I did. Okay. Just so we're clear on what happened there. So if you see how little I move my hand and how much that tip wiggles. Now that is play from the handle. So when I actually swing the blade, that play starts to be there. So my aim is, it kind of feels very inaccurate. I feel like it's the best way to describe it. Mm. Show off. Counts. Four. Nice. That was better. All right, let's just do like a normal everyday cut. See, the problem is Nate struggles with those as well. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Not you. You can you can give me grief in the comments. This man, on the other hand, I mean, it's in two pieces, so it counts as a counts as a cut. I guess so. Why don't we move on to pool noodles? That's worse for me. Oh, it's so it's so big, you know. <laughs> it's so big. So much easier to move. Alright, so did you just get one cut in total? I got a series of deeper cuts. So just but one only cut one in total. It was very nice. Okay. It was a very clean cut. I you watch it on slow I believe you, I believe you. It was a very nice cut. Damn it! Hmm. 
You know what I was thinking? Mm. That whoever won the cutting competition, and I don't know why I thought this, because given the history, it was going to be you, was the one who could Have do some... Have you ever won a cutting competition? Shut up, I've won some competitions. Could cut something special for our channel members. Special such as what? Well, you know how you got the classic fruit ninja? Fruit, what type of fruit? Bananas, mm. oranges. We'll see how we go with something else, but I'm thinking giant sword fruit ninja. Well, if you want to check that out, then you can help support the channel for one to five dollars a month. Uh, it would really help. At the moment, ad revenue is way down. Uh, so if you sign up and help support us make this content, you get access to all the behind the scenes. We call it off the record. Uh, you can check it out. There is YouTube memberships, player, subscribe star, and uh, Patreon, of course. But let's get back to the video and see if I can cut through some more of these things. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. I think I've already won, like beaten Nate. So which, I get to, to be honest, isn't a very high bar to. So I get to throw the fruit at you, and you get mess all over. It works. It's a win. Congratulations. Yes. Yes, because I will. I will cut all of it. Not a single piece will get through. So to provide a little bit of balance here, because some people might be thinking that we are biased against the Nodachi, which is not true. Uh, we are going to use here the Tachi, which is a pretty long sword for the most part. It I've is. used this countless times. I've used katanas countless times. I love cutting with them. That thing is just not very pleasant. No. I'm talking about the Nodachi to be specific. Because this this is not bad. A little long, but it's manageable. But that is actually manageable. Yes. That is that is a comfortable long length, but a comfortable length. This is about the extreme of what I find comfortable. Yes, I would say that. I would agree with that. <sighs> Unless you're specifically training with something like this yeah, day yeah, in and day yeah. out. Then it's a different story, yeah. but you're learning techniques and everything yeah. else. Just for you the, pick up and go? For the most part, we are using swords in sort of the long sword range, maybe this sort of range. We don't really use these very often. So when we use them, we're not as proficient as usual. And it's one of those things where we just don't really train with them that often. So how about using that as a benchmark then? We've got a clean noodle. Well. Mostly clean. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Um, and we'll see how that performs. I got that last little cut, I got it. One more. One more. I love that. Let's One more. I'm gonna do it again, cause I enjoyed that so much and I love this sword so much. I meant one more without hitting the peg. No, I wanna do another one. Totally did. Yep, I want to do an another. How about we move on to another? About, no, another. About, I want to do another. How about how about we move on to closing thoughts? Because no, that was... I want to do another. Shh. I want to do another. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself now. See, see what I'm saying? Like a sword like this is beautiful. And now I know we're talking about the Nodachi and the Claymore, but something like a, a Tachi, right, is even better than a Katana because Katanas are only about what 31, maybe 32 inches. They're kind of short. Something like this is more longsword comparable. It's actually a really, really good length. Thank you, Nate. Oh, is that one better? Yeah. So now I've got plenty to cut because Nate couldn't cut anything. So uh, yeah, looks like I got plenty now. So I think that I'm pretty much still where I was before. However, there is a giant caveat that I want to mention here. And that is, now I don't know how much this is going to change, but this thing here isn't the most accurate. Okay. For example, that this is handle is a little short. This should be a bit of a longer handle to give you a bit more leverage and a little bit more maneuverability for the most part, right? And there's a lot of cookie cutter things on this. Yeah. So none of it is custom made to a sword of this size. Now, I don't think that that changes my main personal gripe with something like this sword. And that is that weight distribution and how it feels in the hand when it starts to, uh, uh, to, to drop. dip down. Yeah. Whereas something like this is very transferable from something like a long sword. Yeah. Um, it's, like we said, kind of right on the limit of where I would want a sword in terms of weight yep. and even weight distribution to be, yep. because this thing has a bit of weight to it. Uh, in terms of maneuverability and usability, it's pretty good. It's pretty, good. pretty good. And to give you an idea, we were checking the edge as we were going. It was a little blunt, it still had some sharp spots, but like if this had have been properly. It, it was fine. Pro properly was fine. maintained, like it's, I feel like that is just such a beast of a cutter. Yes. The way the weight is and everything else, compared to something like this where you just have to, you have to think about it too much. Yeah. Now, something like a Tachi or a Katana, perfectly usable. I like them. They're great, not great swords, but... They're great swords. They're, they're great swords. You get what I mean. 
Whereas something like this, I feel like it's just, it, now I'm, from what I understand, I could be wrong about this, this, something like this sword is like an anti-cavalry sword, which would make uh, sense. It, it, it makes sense on first thought, but we have in a previous video, and possibly even an upcoming video, talked about how it doesn't quite work like that. But it, it is known to be a cavalry sword. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. So, so anti-cavalry, I'm so sorry, anti-cavalry sword. So when it comes to these two swords, I mean, I personally would pick something like this and I would want to train with it, I'd want to get used to it, especially the weight. Because like, you know, waking up in the morning, picking up something like a long sword, which is a common occurrence around here, yep. honestly isn't that bad. No. Waking up in the morning, picking up something like this, I'm kind of like, oh, I think I ought to warm up, guys. Yeah. Let me warm up. Take a few swings and you're like, oh, I can feel that weight in the wrist. Yeah. Whereas this, like it's, it, I would say they feel like the equivalent weight. And even though that feels heavier in the hand, that's the best part. It feels heavier in the hand, not heavier way out there. Thank you very much for saying that. Because I was about to say, yes, they are a very equivalent weight. When you pick up something like this, the weight is down here. You can here. feel it. You can feel the weight. When you lift up something like this, it's fine, the weight but then, is, mm. yeah. Which is usually something that I really like in a sword. But I, I would like it not for to this degree. I would like it for a chopper, like a cleaver, yeah. not a slicer. Yeah. But I think that's pretty much where I stand on these things. Uh, did you have any more thoughts that you wanted to share, Nate? I think I've actually made my thoughts pretty clear on this particular sword. Funnily enough, we did a video. We did. We did on a review this. of it, uh, and the video will be right here, so you can check that out. But I think, for the most part, I'm comfortable in saying personally. Claymore wins. Well, great sword wins because it's not, it's a Claymore, it's not a Claymore. You guys who know, know. Yeah. But check this one out because then you'll see us properly review this. I think we actually use that in this Can as well as a, comp a comparison. Can I swap? Can I swap? Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Sure. Why not?